Chuck Trailhead. Glad to be back on the trail again. This is Campy Hikes with KP and Melody. Today, we are actually going to be doing Mount Assiniboine. We wanted to do this trail for a while, and uh, it, it was just on our itinerary. But now, as a part of our GDT journey, Session C, we decided, let's just do this and knock it out this year. So we're starting at Mount Shark, and we'll be finishing at Sunshine in Banff. Here, the Sunshine Gondola is not running, so we'll be taking the road to go down to the parking lot. Today, the itinerary is quite short. We're just going towards Marvel Lake and camping there for the night. All right, folks, see you on the trail. And Mel, how is it so far? Boring. It's boring. <laughs> I mean, it's smoky. Um, I, I think that it was better in Lake Louise than it is here today. Um, but I think soon, well not soon, probably have like five kilometers of this road. And then we'll be entering the trail. Alright people, it's 4.5 kilometer. We have gone so far from Mount Chart Trailhead. And we're reaching the park boundary, right here. There is a sign, the park boundary line. Right there, Melody is on the other side. Just about 5.57k in. Just gonna stop and enjoy our lunch. And there's the delicious clubhouse and then some fries on the side, and this is the view. So we're 12.46 kilometers in last junction before we head towards Marvel Lake. So far it's just been a boring trek throughout the forest. Fairly easy. So here's the board. So BR13 is where we're going to camp tonight. Wow, already reaching a food storage sign. Okay. I guess we're in the campground. We left Mount Shark Trailhead around 12 and we're here at 3. Wow, great timing. So this campground is not right near the lake. It's a kilometer hike from here to go to Harbour Lake. And this is where we're going to be camping for tonight. Site number 7 is the best site at Marble Lake. Eight forty six PM We had our supper and I think it's time for bed. Good morning. Day two. Just heated up some water. My morning coffee. It's nine oh four. A little bit behind the schedule, but it started raining. See how it goes. Our right, folks, see you on the trail. Alright, so 9.40, we're just leaving the campground, going towards Wonder Pass. In a kilometer we should reach Marble Lake. Rain finally stopped, so we got the little window to pack our tent and then uh, be on our way. So we are, as I said, heading to Marble Lake and from there we'll be going towards Wonder Pass. And then once we climb over Wonder Pass, which, we, which will be our biggest climb for the day, we are going to be going towards Mount Assiniboine and taking a lunch break at Mount Assiniboine. Here's Marble Lake. I know it's smoky, rainy and cold. 
but I wouldn't be anywhere else than here right now. It's just absolutely spectacular. Look at those clouds. Looks like we're in a movie. It's still raining. But just look at these views, folks. Marble Lake. That's the path. Still going towards Wonder Pass right now. And just on the side of Marble Lake. Yeah, it's raining, it's windy. But the sun is trying to come out. You cannot change the weather. You just have to take what you can get. And just enjoy the beauty around you. I just left behind the lake. We were at the junction where we're climbing up the switchbacks three kilometers towards Wonder Pass. Hopefully, after we go over this pass towards Mount Asinibu and Mekong Lake, hopefully the cloud will, the rain cloud will clear out and we can see some nice sunshine. We were just over Wonder Pass, walking in the stunning meadows, just after the end of the lake. There are five switchbacks, and you're up here. This is the easiest pass we've ever done in our hiking history. So it is, at least for us, I mean, everyone has different fitness levels, but for us, this has been the easiest one. The sun was trying to shine. Hope it comes out. So it's nice and dry for us. So on the other side, we'll be able to see the mighty Mount Assiniboine and wait at McCog Lake and enjoy our lunch. And we're going to leave Banff National Park and enter Mount Asinibu. Down there. So many larches here. It's like when you descend down from Wonder Pass going towards McCog Lake. It's gonna be quite pretty in September.
Chris Lake McCog. Beautiful valley. We haven't had any lunch yet. It's uh, almost past two even. So just four kilometers away from Odd Lake. We're trying to make a decision. Oh, it's supposed to be the same rainy like this. Have our lunch at Odd Lake. And instead of camping as we were on our, originally it our original itinerary, we were supposed to camp at Odd Lake tonight and head out to Howard Douglas the next day. And then we're heading out from Howard Douglas to Sunshine. Um, we're thinking if we should just have lunch at Og Lake and continue and stay at Porcupine, which is first come first serve camp um, and then from Porcupine just get out tomorrow instead of on Monday. So we're still trying to make our decision. We'll see when we get to Og Lake. We are finally here at Og Lake. Seems like no one is here other than us. And here are the tent pads. They're actually right on the lake, which is beautiful. So in the morning, you can see that Mount Asinabuin right there peeking through. It's covered in clouds right now. But what a view. kilometers to cover before it gets dark so we want to make sure we reach porcupine so it's gonna be a very long day close to 30k all right folks it's uh, 540 and we're here at the sign uh, porcupine campground is 3.5 from here but it's like pouring right behind me there actually thinking about heading out all the way uh, to the parking lot but it's 16 kilometer will take us four hours will be dark and yeah don't want to do a night hike today so we will be heading this way and staying at porcupine tonight and then tomorrow heading out home morning so it is day three so we're actually exiting uh, a day early than uh, what we planned packed and ready to head out to sunshine so right from the porcupine campground 1.1 steep ascent and you reach a junction we Look at the map yesterday, so we know it's about three kilometers up towards Sedato Pass. We just have around 120 meters left before we reach the Tedo Pass. It's actually a steep incline. 4.1k and you pretty much gain over 500 meters in elevation so it's steep but so far for me I'm actually enjoying it
We're just on the Cetato Pass here and just walking in the meadows. Views are spectacular. All right, folks, we are here, 2,360 meters at Cetato Pass, just at the signs here. Sunshine, nine kilometers, baby. And then there's five point or six kilometer road, but Porcupine is where we came from. We were absolutely stoked to see these beautiful views going back to sunshine. Like we are over um, already 300 kilometers this year for wildflowers right now. You know, walking through these gorgeous meadows. So it's 12.05 right now and we are approaching Howard Douglas Lake. Just boiling some water, um, getting our lunch ready. Alright, seems like the water is getting boiled here. Perfect. So today for lunch at Howard Douglas on this Mount Assiniboine Trail, I am having some cup of soup type noodles here. It's the spicy chicken for me. Mine is super simple. I literally carry chicken broth powder. And then I love bread, so cheesy breadsticks. I'm craving some coffees. Mm, that is a strong coffee. So just like that, lunch is ready. All right, so this is on the other side. The saddle we just came over from the Howard Douglas. I'm gonna do a quick 360. What a wonderful world. It's been such an incredible experience on this trail. Mount Assiniboine is absolutely mighty and we were glad to see it. Lake Macaw is beautiful and the uh, Auger Lake campsite is beautiful as well. It's just quite windy because um, it's very open in the meadows. So just be prepared and if you're not someone who likes windy campsites, I would prepare accordingly and go towards Porcupine. So for us, this will be our fastest 50K that we've ever done on the trail. Because our first night we did over 13K. Second night we were over, how much we did on the second night? Second night we did 27K, uh, went over a pass. Third night we, are, we just came over Tetal Pass and we're exiting at Sunshine so probably going to be around 18k so it was our fastest trip it took us two nights three days to do this trip incredible journey um, we do suggest 
you'll enjoy it and the huts are spectacular so if you don't want to really hike in and uh, you know just wanted to hike around Mount Assiniboine I would definitely go for Nasus Tuts or the Assiniboine Lodge or fly in and uh, you know do the hike around it because it is a spectacular area definitely something to explore for sure all right folks we certainly appreciate you following us if you're enjoying our videos please do not forget to hit subscribe um, and follow us on our incredible journey hope that this gives you a little bit idea to plan your adventure and hike Mount Assiniboine. This is KMP Hikes with KP and Melody. See you next time.